evangelicals and Catholics, who together make up 68% of Belize's population, have spoken to the government on all these issues. Yet we have received inadequate responses, or no response at all. Now we are speaking out in public for all to hear. We publicly call on the government to publicly answer our positions on these issues which we have presented to them. From LGBT inclusion to smoking cannabis, school teaching to protection for preaching, the National Evangelical Association of Belize today outlined their view of specific threats to Belize's spirituality. On the anniversary of the start of the Reformation movement by German theologian Martin Luther, it maintains his view that scripture only, sola scriptura, is the supreme authority in our lives. NIAB Assistant Secretary Rick Mavello said it is one thing to call God's name, but another to live by his teachings. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperors as supreme or to governors as sent by him. And I would like to underline this to punish those who do evil and praise those who do good. I do believe that our national leaders are aware that they are just in government to dispense what is good so that we can live in a harmonious environment within our nation. On the specific issue of the decriminalization, First Vice President Scott Sturm says the association was ignored and swept aside when trying to present their views. While he appeared to rule out a legal challenge, the church does consider it important to rehabilitate marijuana users without removing the consequences of their actions. We presented to the government the concept that yes, we fully support a compassionate alternate track towards expungement. Um, because God is a God of new beginnings, and that's who we represent. Uh, but do not lower the bar on consequences, or else, as any parent can tell you, anytime you start to remove consequences for a certain behavior, that behavior will increase. President Lewis and Pastor Sturm maintain that increased marijuana use, as they predict will happen with the introduction of the amended law, will only exacerbate the crime and decaying social situation. It's a done deal. And just like other areas like LGBT, we go full speed ahead, but how is that we put aside the church? Might make grandiose statements that we can't fight against the church, but they fight against the church as much as possible and don't take the words of the church seriously because they want to be like other countries in the world, in the region and in the world. And that's where we are heading, LGBT, marijuana, what else? Alcohol is already there as a serious, serious drug. I know the marijuana component will make this society crumble. Rome did not fall by outside forces. It fell by inward destruction. And this is where we are heading, unless God Almighty intervenes. It's not us who is making the link between marijuana use and, um, and the murders in Southside. It was Minister Elrington himself that made that connection. And I find it astounding that we would pass legislation to decriminalize 10 grams, which will make that easier access and um, more people wanting that now decriminalize 10 grams, uh, which will only increase the market for the suppliers and the turf battles, and that nobody could figure that the, the reason why these people are dying because of these turf battles in relation to the marijuana industry and the marijuana market and that this move in legislation is not going to decrease that, it's going to increase it. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.